From the above problem, we do know that the uh, picture looks something like this. It's an equilateral triangle, therefore this angle is this angle, and these two angles are the same, and the R's are the same. And I'm letting Y denote the height here from the base up to the uh, this vertex. And so I'm going to have two lengths here, a K2 and a K1. And what I want to do is I want to argue that, in fact, these two are equal. But that's really quite obvious. This comes about directly from using the law of cosines because k2 squared is equal to l squared plus y squared minus 2 ly cosine of delta. And k1 squared is defined by exactly the same thing. So in fact these two are equal. Now if k sub i, k1 and k2, uh, if, they're, if these are equal, then they both must equal L over 2. So I could put an L over 2 here and an L over 2 there, and that's what you wanted to show. Now, because of that and the Pythagorean theorem, we can say L over 2 squared plus Y squared is equal to L squared, and so Y is equal to L times square root of 3 over 2. Now, because of that, the sine of theta is equal to this divided by L, so that's square root of 3 over 2. And the cosine of theta is L over 2 divided by L, and that's a half. And the tangent of theta, if you wanted to find that, you could find that also. It would be this here, y divided by L over 2, and that's just square root of 3. So you can go ahead and find all of the uh, trig uh, functions of this angle theta.